Welcome back Wolfpack, Verlis here with a battle from Adam and this is going to be more Fan Friday's awesomeness. I have no idea what to expect from this team. Looks cool though, always love the fur free respect and there are a ton, a surprising amount of Logan fans out there that just want to see it sweep and steamroll. The whole team is awesome. So double battles, we're going to see what happens with this combo and the opponent going to be with the Latios and the Raikou. So now we just have to see what happens. So Air Balloon is interesting right there, and there's a Calm Mind. So speedy Calm Mind right there, going to try to keep up with the potential Quiver Dance. Doesn't want too much craziness to go down, and I mean that thing is going to get scary real quick. And the Latios is going to go for the Psy Shock. So physical damage as well, and a huge hit onto the Lilligant. Very frail Pokemon, but the Focus Sash is going to keep it alive right now, and that is going to be the Quiver Dance setup right there. So is Furfru going to be able to do something huge with this battle we gotta wait oh the mimic Ooh, we don't see too much mimic usage but furfru just learned quiver dance so actually furfru with the mimic is really ridiculous and there's even a teeter dance involved that's awesome okay so now things just got really insane lulligan's outspeeding now because of quiver dance just confused everything furfru has that thick coat ability, so it's going to have a very huge amount of defense. And now it can use the Quiver Dance for the special defense. Latios is going to hit himself in confusion as well. Yes, it will. So we get the double shutdown. That's why Quiver Dance is awesome. I mean, one turn confusing both opponents gets ridiculous. And that's going to turn into a Quiver Dance. Once again, that's that's some bold stuff right there. Raikou's going to snap out of the confusion, use Thunderbolt. On to the Furfru, however, it wants to start taking this threat down. So now it's going to start Quiver Dancing, and Latios is going to remain confused, hit itself in confusion, and Lilligan, it's got it's got the stats, and now Furfru going to be gaining speed. The the mimic Furfru. The doubles mimic strats are so crazy, and you can get it to work. So that's a nice combo right there. We're going to see a little bit of leftovers healing. Furfru is starting to get really tangy. Mirror Raikou had the calm mind, so it was doing huge damage right there, and Lilligan. Is it going to go for another Teeter Dance? It just wants to make sure that electric dog thing is going... I, I, I didn't know what to say, but yeah, that electric dog thing is going to stay confused. How much confusion can we get today? Oh, that's a, more than enough right there. Hurts itself in confusion. Furfru is still going to be setting up on the side. It, it used Protect this turn, but Latios doesn't get to do anything. And whenever that offensive turn comes in, you know, Lilligan is just, just going to obliterate whatever it wants to. There's the Giga Drain. So good damage on the Raikou because of that Calm Mind. Not going to be as much. Doesn't heal a lot, so pops the Air Balloon. There's a Quiver Dance from the Furfru. Now Furfru becoming very, very speedy as well, which is really interesting to be seeing. And now, let's go and see. Like, will they get finally get, get an attack off? It's not going to take too much to finish off the Lilligan, but no, they are struggling to attack right now. The opponent must be losing his mind. Latios finally gets a Psy Straw... Psy Shock, and that is going to be Lilligan going down. It, it had a lot of Quiver Dances, but even against the double special attacks, not enough. Too much offensive speedy power right there, but Lilligan got a lot of setup going for it. Now the Furfru, the Mimic Furfru, is going to make this one count. So there's the leftovers. There's Slowbro coming in. Um, does so Slowbro have like Psych Up? Because that'd be absolutely hilarious. But yeah, Furfru, what's his special attack going to be? Is he going to go for like the Hyper Voice? Because that's going to be Stab, Way Boosted, Shenanigans right there. Whenever Furfru decides to stop setting up. So there's Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt going to hit Slowbro. Super effective damage. Plus one on that Calm Mind. Slowbro doesn't get a chance to do anything. And it goes down. Uh, I wouldn't say the opponent is necessarily ignoring the Furfru. But it's starting to get really scary. Now it's not taking any damage. Because it's special attack. Is, or special defense is getting really high. And it's getting ready to sweep. It's going to outspeed and just go for some massive damage right here. So there's the Togekiss as well. I don't know the Togekiss set. Oh, Furfru has the Snarl. Interesting that you're setting up that much and getting the damage across with the Snarl. Now, the split damage means it's not going to be insane. And Furfru doesn't have Stab or a high amount of special. I think the Hyper Voice would be cooler. That does mean you can get shut down by Ghost types. And then, you know, the Psy Shock, or Psy Shock doesn't do too much. Uh, Togekiss gets the Air Slash onto the Latios, and that will be enough to take out the Latios. So. Good, good idea right there. Snarl does have a very small chance to miss, but the Tokus cleans up anyways. Now it's on to Furfru. So at least they're going to be doing much less damage in the end. Like, that Snarl is going to hurt. Unfortunately, Gardevoir, if it's going to be that Mega, it's going to get that Fairy Typings, or, you know, already has Fairy Typings. So it's not, it's going to be a neutral hit. 
It's gonna be a neutral hit. The Intimidate doesn't really matter too much. The Snarl isn't gonna affect much. However, Furfur is gonna get that outspeed, then Gardevoir is going to be losing a lot of damage. So that's gonna be pretty nice to see right there. And then we see how Togekiss shuts down the Gyarados. So Gardevoir is actually protecting it on this turn. And then Furfur is gonna go for the Snarl. So now let's see what damage we're looking at. Uh, I'm not expecting a lot. Gyarados can be fairly tanky. Even with all those Quiver Dances, it's not a lot. Special Attack's going to drop. Gyarados, though, has the Dragon Dance. And if this isn't Scarf Kiss, then I'm expecting a Thunder Wave. Going to slow it down. Going to try to keep it flinch haxed as long as possible. And then you're just going to chip away at the Gardevoir as things happen like that. So I want, I'm also interested to see if we get any damage really onto the Gardevoir. So Furfru now, very tanky, healing up. It can survive, you know, plus one, plus two Dragon Dance attack from the Gyarados. So just more Snarl spam right now. And that's not doing anything to the Gardevoir. So you do need that damage support. And the opponent's hard offensive lead made it a bit tricky right there. So yeah, the focus down the Togekiss is what the opponent's going for right there. That will proc the Citrus Berry though. Going to get a lot of that health right back. The Snarl is going to keep that damage down on the Gardevoir. And Gyarados is going to get Paraflinch hacked into Oblivion right now. Gyarados gets paralyzed doesn't get flinched, and that Dragon Dance setup doesn't really mean too much when you have a status Togekiss right there. So there's Furfru going for one more Snarl. It, yeah, like, this, this is a tough call because you do have to hit that Gyarados. You do need to make sure it goes down and doesn't go off. But the Gardevoir is also being pretty problematic. So that's another Psychic right there. Lost the special attack, though, and now it's not doing anything Togekiss. Togekiss, it lands the Air Slash, and that's Gyarados going down. So, the Snarl is going to go out faster, Togekiss is going to survive, that's a Thunder Wave, then more Air Slashes, and the opponent, while being somewhat close, doesn't get to keep this one in, and does forfeit. Interesting on that Furfru, like I said, I would think maybe like a hard sweeping Dark type Pokemon, that way you can take out Ghost types, if you do get into that, and then the Hyper Voice on the Furfru. Hyper Voice, that would be more than double damage, I believe, yeah, that'd be more than double damage, because like Stab and stuff. So you'd be able to hit really hard, but the Snarl support works out really well because it means if they have a heavy special attacking team, Furfru does absolutely nothing. Also, I'd like to see the Mimic sets on other Furfru. You know, the Quiver Dance is really nice, but I wonder if there's any other potential right there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, get ready for some more Fan Fridays, cool Furfru set, and the Lilligant Respect.